Just a few weeks left on his 13-month tour, Mark signed on with Fox 2-5, a highly decorated infantry unit. Some of the things that you would push me to uh, do and ask permission uh, to, to do that was way beyond the scope of uh, being a forward observer. And uh, you were basically an, a grunt at heart. I extended my tour to go out with the grunts as a forward observer and go see what was really up. On arrival in Fox Company, Mark was greeted with surly silence. Uh, I got off the truck, found my way over to the commanding officer, a young captain named Dave Brown. There was no words of welcome. I didn't know who to ask for directions. And uh, this fellow came up to me and uh, had a smile on his face. He said, you're new here. My name is Donnie, Donnie Serwick. Donnie Serwick was soon to become Mark's closest friend. In the morning, we picked up our packs and we headed out, and man, I've never humped like that before. I mean, all that infantry training back at, in the States, that was kids' play. These packs were twice as heavy. We humped twice as fast and twice as far. They were returning to the spot where Fox Company had been ambushed just 36 hours earlier. I was furious because the, uh, the lieutenant uh, got them out there late. It was his fault, and uh, I kept harassing him, and he just couldn't seem to assemble his people and get out there. And then they had uh, seven wounded, in, or either seven or eight wounded, and the opposite number, seven or eight killed. We got into this little cluster of straw huts. A lot of the villages you would go into, and you'd, that you'd, you would search, you, you might find uh, 15, 18 women, and 28 or 30 kids. Dave Brown, the company commander, was fluent in speaking Vietnamese. He rounded up a couple of the old ladies and said, where did the bad guys go? What direction did they go? Oh, they hadn't noticed anything. Only an ambush about 50 yards from their houses last night that killed eight Marines. But they never heard anything. They never saw anything. I was quite angry at that point. Uh, They had really uh, ambushed and destroyed a lot of people and uh, good Marines. And uh, we went off after those enemy with, with vengeance. Fox 25's first job was to search out food stores hidden in and around the village. Excess rice was confiscated, depriving the enemy of easily accessible meals. Dave Brown chewed him out. He turned to the tank that was with us, and he said, flatten every hooch in this hamlet. I don't want anyone to ever be able to live here again. And one of the troops yelled out, Operation Crush! I literally had to dive out of the way as branches were breaking 20 feet to my right, and here comes a tank right through a brush line, just coming up in the air over the brush, and boom, right down on top of this hooch. The, The women were wailing and pleading, don't do this. I thought this was a heck of a way to run a war. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know the full story of the ambush. It just broke my heart.
Combat experience is one that's filled with a lot of noise. It's filled with a lot of, uh, because of the noise, the, the round's going off a lot of yelling, uh, a lot of motion. Uh, men get hurt. They get hurt right next to you.